This is for you if you just don't have enough time for yourself to do all the things that you want to do. Do you catch yourself thinking, how am I meant to work on myself, build a legacy when I've got so much going on? Oh, it's probably time management, he's going to say. Well, it might be time management, but it also might be deeper than that. It might be a priority problem. So in fairness, you might have both problems, <laughs> but let's dig into this first. I was spreading myself way too thin, wearing too many hats, trying to do all of my dreams at once, do it all, until I realized that none of those things were actually taking off. I realized I wasn't making major progress in any one area. I realized I needed to implement some new boundaries with who and what I was giving my energy to. If I really wanted to succeed, I knew I had to go over my priorities. Is this person or is that thing serving my bigger picture? Do I even have a bigger picture? So I went through a series of questions. I took time out for myself. I did a life evaluation. I got real. I got honest with myself. And I realized this music career that I loved and adored and had done all of my life, I needed to shelve it so I could create this, this business that was trying to come out of me. And I wasn't honoring it. I was like, oh, too hippie. Too much stuff. I don't know what that is. YouTube channel, no way but I knew it needed to be done. And best of all, now that I've built my business, I'm bringing the music back into my life and I feel balanced and in flow and harmonious, more so than I've ever been. It's so important to recognize the thing that you really, really want for me was music. If you really, really want that thing, then honor it. Redesign your life so you're truly honoring it. I decided I couldn't continue being completely skin and not being able to pay for recording and promoting and all the stuff I wanted to do. So I figured if I built a business that served people, I'd feel good and I'd have enough money to do the things that I wanted to do. That was the dream, but that meant I had to put it on the shelf for about two years. It was heartbreaking at times, but time flies and now I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to rock and roll. <laughs> So your dreams, your goals, your visions are the priority here. This is what all of this is about. It's about tuning into that thing that comes from here and you feel it and it lights you up and it makes you feel happier and more in flow than anything else you experience in life. That thing, that thing that you have to do. And all the dabbling, jumping around, doing too much, wearing too many hats, maybe for reasons because it makes you feel like you're doing enough or a lot, or maybe it's from a place of ego, juggling all of these gifts and these hobbies and these amazing things that you can do could be massively holding you back if you really, really want to achieve that thing. Some people don't really want to achieve it and do the work. I'm not talking to those people. I'm talking to you who is born to do that thing. Anyone that doesn't want to really do the work and achieve that thing would have scrolled on already. The fact that you're still here and still listening to these words means that you too have something that you want to create, channel, expand, grow, share, evolve, and it might just be a few tweaks away. So don't go another day without honoring your calling, your passion, your purpose. Don't go another day dabbling with your dream. Don't go another day juggling all of these things, thinking, oh, well, I'm, at least I'm doing them all. Are you? I was playing a bit of acoustic guitar, playing in my band, managing the band, building the business, doing some side jobs, social life. I felt like I was doing it all, striking matches and see which one lights up. I used to say that all the time. I've realized that's not always the best thing to do. Just see which one lights up. Why not choose one and make it happen? And then once it's happened, pick another one that you really want and make that happen. Don't leave it up to the chance of, oh, this one didn't light up. Prioritize the big dream. Please, <laughs> please, you owe it to yourself. Prioritize that thing that you're destined to do you're meant to do, you really, really want to do, however you want to frame it. One life, use your imagination to pull in what it is that you want to play with and create in your mind, visualize, create that thing and actualize it in this lifetime. Do it, make it happen. You know, it makes sense. <laughs>
Okay, so this is really one of the most powerful things you can do. Make a list of all of the things that you want to achieve. Now, if you've already done this, just do it again and focus on maybe your business or something that you're already doing. But if you're not there yet and you haven't quite gone down that road and you don't have the business up and running and all of that stuff, write a list of all the things you want to achieve. Step one. Number two is circle or tick the best three, the top three. Really tune into that list and go, okay, if I had to pick three, it's you, you, and you. Job done. I'm also aware that you're watching this right now and you're probably not pausing it and you're gonna do this later. I highly recommend to write down these points and immediately do this after the video. No time like the present, just get this done. It takes no time and it's so, so powerful. Step three, out of that top three, what's going to be the most fulfilling? What's going to be the most impactful? What's going to be the most lucrative? You might be in a position like I was where I really wanted to be a musician in a band. I really wanted to teach and see where that took me. I needed money. <laughs> when I did this list, I had to focus on what was going to be the most lucrative but also fulfilling and impactful because all of those three things were a priority. I wasn't gonna do anything anymore for someone else, help someone else make money. I decided if I was gonna go all in, it needed to check those boxes. It needed to be fulfilling, it needed to be impactful, and it needed to be lucrative. Otherwise, I knew I'd burn out, I'd lose interest, I wouldn't put my all into it, and ultimately, it was just all about me. I wanted something that was bigger than me, not just about me, 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 me. But hey, that's just me. Step number four, go all in on that big dream. Just fucking do it. Just go all in, create your strategy, figure it out. I've, I can help you do that if you need. There's videos in here that can help you do that. This is the ultimate point you need to be at in your life. If you haven't already done this, you need to do this because you have one life. And if you don't, it will eat away at you forever. Dreams buried alive never die. Dreams buried alive never die. They will haunt you. You want to enjoy life. You don't want to let another five years go past, 10 years go past and go, we haven't done that thing yet. I want to do an acoustic record, a solo acoustic record. I've wanted to do one since I was 15. I never did the full thing that I wanted to do. So I've planned it out, build the business bring in the first band, bring in the next band. When the time is right, when I naturally go, I can now do this next layer. That's the secret. Figure out who you are, what you want to achieve, put it in an order, commit to one thing at a time. I think that's the greatest advice anyone could ever give you. <laughs> figure out what this is, figure out what you want to do, make that plan, put it in an order, choose one, go all in, no distractions, Achieve that thing, bring in the next thing. Go all in, balance the two. Balance the two, oh. Balance the two, make it happen, bring in the next thing. You might only have one thing. I've got six. I wanna achieve six. <laughs> and I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so when you figure this out and you prioritize and you start doing the thing you're meant to be doing, should be doing, could really be doing, you'll start to notice that you'll have more time. You'll prioritize differently because it'll be around doing the thing that you ultimately want to be doing. And you'll also notice that you'll be a lot happier too. This is a tried and tested thing. And ask anyone that is doing their purpose in life, they will tell you all of these things. And happiness is one of my main priorities to practice, to nurture, to cultivate, to share. Feels good you'll notice that you'll stop spending time on the distractions that don't serve you. Having long conversations with people where it's just about whatever. I do that with a couple of friends, but I love that, but I was doing it all the time and ugh, just so much of my energy going to all different places. Watching stuff, playing computer games, pubs, hangovers, just not doing anything. Being distracted by anything that comes in and just Oh, shiny object syndrome. Oh, oh. <laughs> when you focus, you tune, you dial in, you start to notice distractions become almost like a blur around you. Or if they do break through, you can spot, oh, distraction. 
This is why meditation is so valuable. When we meditate and we focus on our mantra, our breath or our body, when the thoughts come up and we realize that we are no longer focused on that one thing, the breath, the body, the mantra, we notice that we're being distracted. So we bring ourselves back, bring ourselves back, constantly bringing ourselves back until you change the setting. The distractions will always be all around you, but you're not just, oh. And this ultimately makes you feel more peaceful. It makes you feel less tense and less stressed. Your parasympathetic nervous system is switched on rather than just being in a fight or flight all the time. Next thing, next thought, next video. It's good, <laughs> right? All of that becomes a thing of the past. Obviously it comes up from time to time, but you manage and balance because you're now led by passion, drive and fulfillment. Your world changes around you. Your world changes with you. So let me ask you this. Are you ready to wake up every day knowing I'm doing it? I'm doing the thing. That thing that lifts you up, that lights you up. Sometimes it's difficult, there's obstacles, but you're doing the thing. Could this be a reminder that you are doing the thing and how amazing that is. What an achievement. Taking a moment to stop and feel proud of yourself, feel grateful for all that you've done, all that you've been through, all that you're working through, all that you're becoming. What an achievement, it's amazing. I now know how it feels to be living my purpose and going all in on my dream. It feels all kinds of amazing and to stop and pause and remember to feel grateful for that experience is all i ever really need to be doing apart from all the action living my purpose and feeling fulfilled at the end of the day even if i didn't get through all of the stuff because it never ends just being grateful for the journey is everything i didn't feel that for so long so long living my purpose is so much easier than feeling lost frustrated, overwhelmed, not knowing myself, not knowing what I wanted out of this life. It was so much harder. But ultimately speaking, I wasn't living up to my potential. I didn't even know about my potential. I thought that was for other people. Other people have potentials. And when I started achieving things and started doing the things that I was dreaming of, confidence grows and you get excited about what else you can do. And I guess I want that for everybody. I want everyone to experience a connection with the deepest layers of self and ultimately to transform, to go beyond form and create something out of nothing, live their dream life, break through, break free, quit that thing, grow that thing, be the best version. Ah, oh, it's just nothing better. <laughs> so my friend, if you want that feeling, if you wanna really reconnect with that feeling, grow that relationship, with yourself and with the universe. If you want that feeling, if you wanna stay focused, connected to that life that you're destined for, that you know you can achieve, then I invite you to check out the Big Transformation online course. Everything is laid out step by step. Everything you could possibly think of needing to know to uncover yourself, discover yourself, rediscover yourself, create your dream life, your vision, manage and balance it, strategize it, move into it, learn how to maintain it, grow it, evolve it, go on a journey through mind, body, soul, spirit, dive into healing, meditation, yoga, qigong, all of these amazing tools for the body and mind, help you reprogram yourself to stay focused on that thing that you want. So when the distractions inevitably come, Only five to 15% of people that take online courses open them or even do them. If you're the average 95% that's happy dabbling and not living up to their potential and just kind of floating through life and just going with the flow, if that is you, do not do this course. It, it, it's not for you. But if you're one of those legends that wants to experience their greatest self, JFDI, just fucking do it. It'll be one of the greatest things you ever did for yourself. That much I know. Link in the bio. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe, like, blah, blah, blah. You know what to do. Hit the bell notification. I love you so much. Thank you. I'll see you soon.